hello friends welcome back so i'm going to continue from the last video in which we have covered f current validate b this is a tag of jsf framework to validate string type values so basically we have used or we have covered at the rate not in the annotation at the rate size at the rate null on string type values in this video we will talk about we'll talk about same jsf validate bean to validate a uh, big decimal decimal or float type values like price discount and we'll go and see tax as well in this video okay so let me take you to the so this is my program i am using same uh, project jsf dash bean dat dash validator same uh, so i just have one screen to take the user input and here is my bean class so in the last video we have covered uh, we talk about string type values so i'm not going to discuss these things here we'll talk about on big decimal and decimal type validators so how do you use that so basically in this part of video we'll see i have three properties called price discount and tax okay so this price is big decimal type and the annotation that that we are going to use to validate big decimal or decimal type values is at the rate digits okay so this one at the rate digits it says integer equal to 6 fraction equal to 2 and then there is a message message that will be displayed to the user in case the entered value is doesn't match with the criteria mentioned here okay so what does it mean by this so it says like price can have 6 digits before decimal and 2 after decimal okay and then we have uh, another property called discount again big decimal type and the annotation the validator is at the rate decimal min so it says the minimum value this particular field can accept is 5.00 or 5 so this is the minimum value if i go and talk about tax then i have at the rate decimal max is the annotation to validate it says the maximum uh, tax rate which i can accept from the user is 30 in case if doesn't meet the doesn't meet the requirement or the validation like if the validation gets failed there will be a message and if you see here here i have mentioned the message but here I, there is nothing like i haven't used message tag so jsf will populate a default message so jsf framework is really smart it provides some sort of messages so in this video we'll talk about these three Validations at the rate digit, at the rate decimal minimum, and at the rate decimal max to mention the maximum value of that. Okay, so let me open this screen. Uh, let me run this project. Let me see what do I have here. Please let me run this one. So wait for this screen to come up. If you guys want to know about this project, so let me explain something here. So in my web dot web dot XML file, we have used context parameter, state saving, and there is one more context parameter. Sorry, one more context parameter. It says like what JavaX dot faces dot interpret empty string submitted values as null as true welcome list and these comes default entries so basically my faces servlet is the one who will take care of my validations and everything about the sf framework okay so here is my screen my ui currently i just have only one field called price and the validation which i have used here on this particular attribute price it says six before decimal and two after decimal sorry six before yeah and two after decimal so let me enter something here so i'll just enter one two three four submit so these are the validations which i applied on the string uh, on my email and password not worried about that one but for decimal field this price one two three four nothing there is no error message it says five uh, five six is a five six is still a valid value let me write seven eight submit it says acceptable format is zero 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 point zero zero so six digit before decimal and two after decimal if you go and see the message so this is what i mentioned here and here i can see the same message here okay now if i lower down this one six 
पॉइंट जीरो जीरो इज सिल सो सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स बिफोर डेसिमल पॉइंट जीरो जीरो इज अ वैलिड वैल्यू नाउ इफ आई टाइप समथिंग एल फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सबमिट इट सेज एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर्मेट इज दिस ओनली सो बेसिकली जे एस एफ इज रियली ए स्मार्ट फ्रेमवर्क इन द बैकग्राउंड इट टेक्स द इनपुट एंड वेलीडेट्स द वैल्यूज एंटर्ड बाई द यूजर यूजिंग द बिल्ट इन वेलीडेटर्स सो दीज वेलीडेटर्स एट कम्स विद Spring itself, okay. Now we'll see. We'll talk about next property called decimal. So here is my screen. I'll just simply go and let me copy these things. Don't worry. I'll explain. What I'm doing is I'm just creating a one more field to accept decimal value. What I did. Okay, decimal value from the input. So this is my output text box, and I'll call it as decimal. This is my input field to accept this decimal value. Oh, sorry, what is that? This is discount. Sorry, not decimal. This is discount. So this is to accept discount from the user. And here is my input text. Discount. And my bean property name is discount only. So U N T. And here is my H current message ID so that I can display the error message here on this property. Here in the next column, next to the input tag. The thing which you need to mention in your mind is you are supposed to use f colon validate bean inside the uh, closing, opening and closing bracket of input tags. So this is what makes your Spring framework to handle all the well built-in validators on this particular property called discount. Let me save this one. Let me refresh. Okay, so here is my new field called discount. So What is the validations we have? So the validations, if I see here on discount, it says minimum is five point zero zero. Okay, so if I enter one and click on submit, you will see must be greater than or equal to five point zero zero. Right? If I enter six, there won't be any error message. It's perfectly fine. Let me make this good. Okay, submit. Six is fine. So if you see the minimum value is five. So if I enter one point two one, submit must be greater than or equal to five point zero zero. Now if you see here, there is no message specified for this particular validation, right? In case if the validation failed, this one, then there is no value, there is no custom value specified by the programmer. So JSF provides its own default messages. If you want your own message, what you can do is you can make use of message tag and then you can put your Value. Uh, so basically, you can say min minimum is five point zero something like that. So you can write your own message here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now let's go and see the next property. If I see here, test or server. So the next one which I have is text. And the notation, the the validator which we have used used is at the rate decimal max. So the maximum value this particular tag text can have is thirty point zero zero. So let me just go and create one more input text. So I'll just copy the layout. Layout is very easy. You can don't worry. I'll share the code. You guys can see this one. It's gonna be really easy. So what I'm gonna do is here I'll put uh, I think text. And here is my so this is my output text box. So text will be printed on the screen. Here is my ID text and the bin property is text only. So this is the input text to accept the value. And here is f current validate bin which is like so this is the one which is uh, taking care of everything all the validations. And here is f current message to display the error message just text just next to the input text. So this is the next column. Okay, save. Let me refresh. Okay, before that, I'll just go and delete these informative texts. I don't want this to be here on my screen. Let me just refresh, refresh. So here I have my next property called text, and if you see the validations on top of this one, we have used annotation as decimal max is thirty. So if I enter ten or twenty, no problem at all. And let me just. Also, so if I put thirty, even thirty is the valid value because this is also this falls under the same validation criteria. Now I have mentioned thirty-one, so it says must be less than or equal to thirty. 
okay so if you see again here for this one there is no custom message so jsf provides its own message custom messages like jsf provides its own message but if you want to override you can make use of it like this message tag message attribute message equal to and then you can write comma message equal to you can write your message whatever message you want to display to the user okay i think so that's it for this video guys in the next video we'll see how to make use of jsf f colon validate bean on integer type values okay and don't worry guys i'll share the code i'll provide the link you can just download this simple project on your workspace and then you can work on it thank you so much